hey guys welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see what what is web driver manager and what are what are the uses of this web driver manager how it is going to help every test engineer in their day-to-day -day life right so if you have been working with selenium web drive for quite a some time right you must be knowing what is that the web driver dot uh, uh, exe file or binary file for any browser right so before starting with your any script right you might be uh, doing um, system dot setup for your binary file right system dot set property so here we have to give what is the browser uh, driver we are going to use that is if you are working with chrome you have to give chrome if you are working with firefox you have to give uh, gecko driver like that we have to one by one for each driver we have separate a set property right so if you are working with chrome right we have to give chrome dot driver mm -hmm. So it comes uh, very hard when it is uh, going for your uh, setting up your value, right? So what does it mean? So here we have to give your um, driver file, right? Uh, say for example, if it is a Chrome, if you are using Chrome, right? You have to give Chrome dot exe file path, right? So this is the path to you have to give this. So what is the uh, steps involved in this, right? First, you have to find out the browser version and the driver version compatibility. And second thing is you have to download this uh, uh, chrome uh, chrome driver.exe from their uh, vendors website and then you have to set up the uh, your system dot set property for jvm so these are the some uh, different steps involved in setting up your dot exe file or binary file right so what this web driver manager will do right all these steps right will be reduced if you are going to use your web driver manager in your project right so let's see how it is going to help us Right. So just open your uh, browser and just uh, type web driver manager. So the first website will be like from github dot github dot com from Boni Garcia. So we have to thank this guy, right? He has developed this uh, web driver manager to help everybody, right? So just click on this, you will find the benefits and how we can use that, right? So he has given what is the motivation he has taken, right? So you, you have to download your driver or binary file from your uh, browser vendor and you have to do your uh, JVM setup file like so each browser we have to do system dot set property with each browser like Chrome driver, Gecko driver or Edge uh, driver right. So these are the different steps involved in that. So to reduce this file right or to handle your dot exe file everything. So he has developed web driver manager as a Java dependency. Right. he has given this java dependency or gradle dependency so let's uh, let's let's do this later let's before to that let's see how we can uh, reduce that steps here right yes this is the one liner we have to give that's all it will download your latest .exe file or binary file for your uh, driver uh, browser right whether if you are using chrome driver it will download your latest chrome driver .exe file if you are using your uh, firefox driver it will download the gecko, gecko driver latest version right only this one liner step is enough for doing everything you do you don't have to go manually and download your dot exe file you don't have to set up your jvm uh, property so nothing just this one line is enough right so what you have to do is one thing you have to just copy the you have to add this as a maven dependency or you can go to your maven repository there you can uh, get your uh, jar file as well if you are not using maven project right so just to type here web driver manager search with that web driver manager so you can see the first very first uh, uh, link right it is coming from uh, github.boni garcia from web driver manager right so just click on this link it will navigate to maven uh, dependency for that it will give a uh, different versions what it is supporting click on the latest one Right. So here also you can find your uh, uh, Maven um, dependency, Gradle dependency and other dependencies what exactly it means. Right. So we need Maven dependency. If you are not using your Maven dependency, you can see over here files, the link for jar. Just click on this, it will automatically download your single file, jar file, web driver manager jar file. Right. You can add this if you are not using your Maven repository. Right. I am going to use my uh, uh, Maven dependency. So in Maven dependency, we have pym.xml file. Just go there. Here, we just copy and paste here. Right. So until you save this file, it will not download. You can see already I have downloaded Selenium web driver. So here we cannot see web driver manager. Let's select all. 
select all this and indentation just control s right it is start building the projects you can see over here right so these are the files it is downloaded because of this web driver manager so earlier these are the files it is downloaded for selenium now for web driver manager it has downloaded these many files jar files to support your drivers right so that's all uh, to download your uh, uh, browser uh, drivers where be it your uh, chrome driver or be it your uh, firefox driver anything everything will be downloaded from this right this is the web driver manager this will be handled so if you expand this you can see one by one right all different uh, files what he has used in this file you can see over here chrome driver manager chromium driver manager edge driver manager so all different browsers what it is supported it will be here in this vdm wdm dot managers right let's see uh, let's see with example how it is working so earlier we usually give this line right right now uh, if you are using web driver we don't have to give this you just have to give just one line right so that is what he has mentioned in his uh, github that is this line just copy this just paste it right so just import this from your uh, bonigarcia.wdm it is important that's it you can straight away start um, implementing your scripts web driver driver equal to new from driver control shift o it will download right and just driver dot get so let's launch on browser like http google.com let's launch and see and we'll close the browser that's all it will take care of everything right let's let's run and uh, see how how it, it goes can see over here it's open the browser opening the google close it that's it so if you see the logs right so you can uh, i notice that starting chrome pro, chrome driver 86.0.424.22 so this is the chrome drive latest version i have installed in my machine so it is launching with this version right you can identify this so if you if you want to work with the different browsers right you you don't have to do anything just change your uh, driver to firefox say for example if you want to work with firefox uh, just change it to firefox that's it and here you have to give firefox driver right we have to import this that's all just try running it it will take some time because uh, firefox will take some time it's launching gecko driver launching uh, google.com and closed it that's it if you want to work with multiple browsers right you can work go like this just you have to use web driver manager it will be very easy for you your, in your day-to-day -day life and the same goes for if you're working with multiple uh, person right in the same project in that case it will be very helpful right otherwise you have to manually download your file you have to add it in your uh, project folders or you have to download it in your local machine right that will make some some hassle right in your uh, project so this web driver manager will automatically handle it right so let's see some negative scenarios what uh, uh, if you are working with a different uh, uh, browser version and this will be downloading your latest version right so let's see with that so i'm going to give a uh, chrome driver right so if you want to give different version right because this will be by default downloading the latest uh, chrome driver so if you want to give right uh, vers different version you can just give driver version as a string value so it will download the whatever the version you you wanted to do you wanted to work with right so to check with that right you can go to selenium.dev uh, official site click on downloads link 
so click on this browsers so here you can see multiple browsers uh, uh, links right documentation links if you click on this any browser documentation links it will navigate to their particular vendors chrome driver management portal right you can see over here multiple browser versions right so you can just copy this particular uh, browser driver version and give there so i am using this 86 version right so i'm i'm going to copy this I'm going to give anyway it will be downloading latest version but still I, I will try to give the driver version what it will do just try running it so it is giving illegal state exception because that we have we are trying your uh, uh, chrome driver version with firefox so let's change this chrome driver input let's try running now right it is launched and opening the browser right so you can see over here right so this is launching the latest version but the same we are using also over here right so what will happen if we are giving mismatch in the driver version right let me give some other version which is mismatching with my uh, uh, local machines browser version I'm going to give 84 which is mismatching with my local browser version so it should throw error it should not launch your browser it should throw error binary file con uh, confined right it is giving error because the browser is mismatching unknown error cannot find chrome binary right this is the different uh, that error you you might be getting and one more error what you will be getting right so if you are working with any uh, browser version like opera or safari right, which is not installed in your uh, machine so in that case also you will be getting error so it will not launch your browser because it is it's not finding the browser uh, binary file right let's try with opera browser opera driver so what let's try to run this in that case also it should throw the error it cannot find the binary right you can see over here cannot find the opera binary so this is the different uh, 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 errors that we may be facing when we are working with a different uh, browser compatibility issue or if you are not uh, installed your uh, original browser and it is trying to access right so those are the different uh, errors that we might be getting so if you want to get the complete list of your errors right you can just go to this uh, github.com Bonnie Garcia, right? He 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 has given all the different setup uh, how to set up different browser browsers. What are the alternative ways to launch your uh, browsers, right? And what are the methods that we can use driver version? How to use that? Or if you want to change your browser version, how to use that? And different methods he has given. You can just go through this if you if anything is matching your uh, your requirements, right? Your project requirements. You can uh, just uh, stick to this, right? So this is one of the most uh, useful uh, uh, one, right, in our day-to-day -day life. Any test engineer, so a driver manager, right. So that is it from today's video, guys. Uh, if you love watching my video, please give like my video. And if you have any questions or clarification, please leave it in the comment section.